ladies. Now Are you marvelous or moronic? Ah, spot on! Great Scott, that was fast, and without a single error being made. There are no words sufficient. Lady Snobbish is delighted with your explanation. While she's still in a good mood, you ask about the necklace showing her the photo. Had she sold it? The atmosphere cools instantly. That necklace hasn't been in the family for some time. My father took it with him when he left. Now, I should like you to leave. It's rather late and I'm tired. Slipping into the town hall is far simpler than you'd anticipated. Without the supervision of the redoubtable clerk, the painters have slipped off to the local public house. Nevertheless, you must be swift in your quest for answers. To the archives! You want to get round... And your result is... Correct you are. Well done. All wrapped up already? Great heavens! Ooh, ooh! No mistakes made. Show off. You deserve so much more. As you wander the forests of filing, this coppice of cabinets, you chance upon a vital clue. Buried beneath a tumbled desk, pushed aside by the firefighters, no doubt, you find a slightly scorched, utterly empty paraffin canister and a surprisingly intact box of matches. Your faithful hound gives them a good solid sniffing. With a single yelp, Watson lays the case bare. In an instant, you know exactly who used the materials you found to set the fire in the archive. It's time to go to the police. Only the constable was on duty when you arrived at the police station. Inspector Bragg was called for, though he remains to be convinced of the need to get him out of his bed. You have been lucky so far with your wild accusations. You had better be more than lucky this time. Come on in. Sharpish now. There were four suspects. Four individuals who had visited the archives at the town hall. The colonel was apparently searching for more information on Lady Snobbish. Had he found something, perhaps regarding her father, that he felt needed covering up? The librarian and the doctor were using the privacy of the archives for their clandestine meetings. Was there something even less innocent about their encounter that day? Was one of them being less than honest with the other? The jeweler was researching a valuable necklace which had left the possession of the snobbish family under mysterious circumstances. Had she found evidence that would prevent her making a significant sale. One of these individuals has been caught out. Which one? Can you deduce the culprit and prove yourself worthy of your role as a blue-toed detective? Player one, you get to choose first. Select your villain by pressing the corresponding button on the controller. Thanks to the arrival of Watson, the best nose in Blue Toad, you now know the guilty party is... The Librarian!
when Watson had a sniff of both the librarian and the arsonist's tools you found in the archive, he let out the same yelp. If the librarian had hoped the fire would destroy the evidence of her crime, she is about to receive an unpleasant shock. You had better be right about this. I don't want to be disturbing honest folk at this time of night. Come on, constable. Well, come on then, sharpish. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Only, only what, constable? Oh, nothing. Nothing, sir. You used your talents to select the correct suspect. Many congratulations on a job well done. The librarian has been working late and is just locking up when you all arrive. Ralph, what's... Maggie, I... That's enough of that, Constable. Madam, I'm asking you to accompany me down to the station to answer some questions about it the... It was me. Eh? It was? I confess. You've dragged it out of me. Why, you ask? What would you know of my motives? You, with your leaden souls, dragged down by earthly matters. I did it for love. Yes, for love. For that doctor, you mean? Doctor? Ha! How little you know. Must I tell all? You brutal man, Inspector. I will. Look out! Ah! She's... She's dead. In a screech of tires and a flash of headlights, another body lies on the streets of Little Riddle. You knew that your foe was a dangerous one, but now you have a glimpse of the depth of darkness you must defeat. Do you have the strength? the intellect, the audacious courage needed to bring to justice the master criminal at work here. You will find out soon as you prowl the streets, seeking to finally close the Blue Toad Agency file on Little Riddle in... Death from Above! So, how well did you do in that episode? Player one. Wonderful work, 